Hi there, today we're looking at the normal distribution or normal distribution curves. And uh, this is one of those phenomenons that like uh, uh, certain things just kind of follow and it's uh, really neat to see uh, things like grades or uh, you know population like the height of certain populations things like that but a normal distribution curve basically the, the data seems to vary from the mean okay so it's not like there's a set pattern to this there's still uh, uh, just completely varied uh, randomness uh, to the data as it's spread out from the mean. Uh, but it ha it, what happens is it forms a symmetrical bell curve uh, as we go from the mean and we start to measure these different populations, all right? The neat thing about a normal distribution curve is, is it divides the data into sections based on the standard deviation. And each of those sections contains a certain percentage of the population or a certain percentage of uh, those surveyed, all right? And so when you look at uh, a standard bell curve, this is, this is what it's going to end up look like. Basically, what we have in the center, this is going to be our mean, all right? So we have our mean here in the center. The, the curve looks like this, and that wasn't very well done. Let me try that one more time. I can do better. I can do better. I believe in me. Let's try doing it this way. Uh, but basically, it peaks in the center there. That also wasn't very good, but uh, I did my best here. And so when we look at the normal distribution curve, basically what happens is if I go like plus one standard deviation in this direction, or plus two standard deviations in this direction, and this is what standard deviation measures, plus three standard deviations, or minus one standard deviation, minus two. If I start to measure my data, what happens is at the very center of this thing, I have the mean. If I go one standard deviation in this direction, that encompasses 34% of my data values. And if I go one standard deviation in this direction, it encompasses another 34%. So really, what happens here is when I'm within one standard deviation of the mean in either direction, I get 68% of my data values are all crammed near this thing, all right? So most things tend towards the mean. And then what happens is as we go further and further out, I get smaller and smaller uh, percentages uh, because I have less and less things uh, that are farther from the mean. See, things gravitate towards the mean. As I step farther away from the mean, things get more and more uh, sparse, okay? So when I look at this, really the, the general idea here is in a normal distribution curve, 68% of the data falls within one standard deviation, 95% falls within two standard deviations, 99.7% falls within three standard deviations, and so on and so forth, okay? And so when we look at this, what happens is we, we kind of plot out all the data values we have. We measure how many of each of those things we, we have. But then the, remember the, the uh, standard deviation is calculating how spread out the data is from the mean, all right? And so it kind of lumps these, uh, these data values into these percentage groups, all right? For example, if I look at something like this, height is one of those things that's going to follow a standard, uh, uh, a normal distribution curve, okay? So when we look at, like, height, again, if I think about my normal distribution curve, that is terrible. You can do better, Mr. Jansen. Oh, that's much better, okay. So we start with the mean. The mean is at the very center of this thing. And it says that the mean uh, here is uh, 6 feet 9 inches tall, all right? The issue with that is that we have two different units, so we're going to convert that to just inches. So for our purposes here, that's going to be 69 inches, all right? And then what happens, it says that the standard deviation is 6 inches. So as I kind of spread out from here, if I go 6 inches in each direction, uh, over here that would be 75 inches. Here, that would be 63 inches. If I go another 6 inches in each direction, so I'm marking another standard deviation in each direction. Uh, here, I have 81 inches. Uh, here, I would have uh, 57 inches. And I could go a little bit further here. Let's go one more standard deviation in each direction. So another 6 inches. Uh, here, that's going to leave me at 87 inches. And here, that's going to leave me at 51 inches. All right? And the question asks, uh, sorry, the mean was uh, 5 foot 9 inches. I was saying 6 foot 9 inches. The question is asking, um, how many people are going to be over 6 feet 9 inches tall? Okay, and so again, let's think of this thing in terms of inches. So that's going to be 81 inches, all right? So basically the value that we're looking at is this guy right here, 
We want to know how many people are going to be taller than that. So when we start breaking this down, again, when we look back up here, it says within one standard deviation, we're looking at 68% of the, the uh, uh, population. So right here, this is 68% of the population falls within one standard deviation. So between those two heights, all right? If I go two standard deviations, it's 95%, okay? So here are two standard deviations. This is 95% of the data. And that's kind of when we want to cap it off. We want to see how many people are in this section right here. So think about it. If this piece that's in purple right here, if this is 95% of the data, it means that these two pieces on the end, this piece and this piece, would make up a total of 5% of the data. All right? But we don't have both of those pieces. We only have one of them. So what happens is just this piece over here that we're coloring in red, that's going to be 2.5%. So 2.5% of the population is going to fall uh, into that category. And that makes sense. When you think about it, most people are around a certain height. And as you go further and further to the extremes, you get less and less people. Uh, you know, there are not a lot of people in the world that are above 7 feet tall or 8 feet tall, okay? The, these are very extreme cases, and so the bell curve is very short at that spot. Most people are between 63 inches and 75 inches, all right? Anybody who's outside of that range, okay, there's, there's quite a few less, okay? So when we're looking at people over 6 foot 9 inches tall, we're looking at about 2.5%. So these are like our NBA basketball players, okay? So... Uh, Again, when you're looking at uh, the normal distribution curve, it's just really neat because as you start to plot out this data and you come up with a standard deviation, it'll fall perfectly on this curve, all right? And things like grades happen the same way. If you were to plot the average of the grades and find the standard deviation, it would spread out along, along a bell curve, okay? And you'd find out that most people were gathered around the average, and there was a couple extremes to one side or the other, a couple people who did really well. Uh, and they're kind of in the minority, and a couple of people did really poorly that are also in the minority. Most people kind of hovered around that, that mean, okay?